Two to nothing is the score. Our Zayo connections and takes us down into the first base dugout for a quick chat with Chip Hale, the head coach of the Wildcats. I never ask you about Daniel because everyone else talks about him all the time, so it's easy to know about him. But, you know, you maybe have a quiet er weekend so far. You're probably not surprised how he woke up this morning and bounced back for your team. No doubt. It's uh, usually after, after his toughest games is when he shows up. Um, he's, <laughs> he's unflappable in that way. And we had a little chat this morning about everything. And, he just is that's that's why I think he's so prepared to move on to the next level. I mean, he's it's it's the hardest thing I think is the mental game. And uh, I think he really has that under control. Chip, how you doing, man? I'm doing doing well, Coach Lopez. How you doing? <laughs> I'm doing good. Hey, Chipper, listen, man, I've had the pleasure of knowing you since about 1982. And uh, again, I'm, I'm honored to call you a friend. But I got to ask you now, what's the biggest difference you have found Working with 18 to 20 year old guys versus big leaguers. Yeah, well, compared to big leaguers, just just the knowledge of the game, as you know, you know, you get some funny questions on, you know, are we going to play the infield in here with a four run lead and <laughs> just to some funky stuff. But that's what you appreciate the most when guys uh, when guys play the game the right way um, and they come out and, and as you know, uh, some of it's you know what they did in youth ball and high school ball and you can almost tell where they're from. Uh, sometimes you have the raw talent. Uh, but that baseball knowledge is just lacking at this point. So that's a, that's the beauty of it. And the great thing for our staff is to kind of teach. Garrett Irvin is some kind of a special Sunday starter to be able to pencil that guy in technically third on your depth chart, huh? Right. Well, yeah, we just had some, you know, we had some real bumps in the road up in Utah. And he had to come out early with some soreness. And um, so did um, T.J. Nichols. And uh, so we've, we've really been kind of piecing it together. And, yeah, we were just happy he could start one of these games. So, so far, so good. Chip, thank you very much. Thank you, guys.